Hi everyone, I'm Liam and in this episode of Gear Talk we're taking a look at JPEG Mini. JPEG Mini is an amazing piece of software that can reduce the file size of your photos without any perceptual loss in quality. This can help save on disk space, reduce upload times and even improve SEO by speeding up your website. Best of all, JPEG Mini can fit into your workflow seamlessly, meaning it works its magic in the background without you even realizing. So there are two elements to this software. There's the standalone app and then the Lightroom or Photoshop plugin. Let's start by taking a look at the standalone app. So as you can see, we've got a really nice, clean and simple interface, really well presented. At the top left, we've got the branding JPEG Mini Pro. I've got the pro version of the app. Uh, in the center at the top, you can see the total amount of data that you've saved since you started to use the application. Now I've actually been using JPEG Mini myself for a number of years. I updated to JPEG Mini Pro 3 uh, a couple of weeks ago. So this tally is since I updated. At the top right, we've got the export settings, which we'll come back to shortly. In the center of the screen, you have the area where you can drop your files or folders, or alternatively, you can press the plus button and select from your file browser. And then in this circle area here, you can see the amount of data saved during the current session, the number of files that have been processed and the amount that they've been reduced by. There's also a button at the bottom right here to shrink down the app size into this tiny little window. This is really handy if you want to move this up into the top corner of your display out of the way, but still have the ability to drag and drop straight there when you're ready to. Coming back to the export settings, again, the interface and options here are really simple. You can either choose to optimize the original files, this will replace the original files with a new optimized version, or you can export to a different location. So export to folder, uh, and this will just create a second copy of the file that's been optimized. Within that, you can also choose to resize the file. So if you want to reduce the dimensions of the image along with reducing the file size, you can do that in here. This is really handy if you're uploading to the web or to social media, something like that. So we'll start by keeping the original dimensions and simply using JPEG Mini to reduce the file size. And I selected for it to export these to the desktop. With that set, I can now take an image and drag it onto the app. So I've got a photo of a flower here. This was taken on my Fujifilm GFX 100, which is a 102 megapixel medium format camera. So the file sizes are huge. So it's a really good example of what this app can actually do in terms of saving space without any loss of quality in terms of the way that the image actually looks. So I can simply drag this onto the app and it's gonna work its magic. And as you can see, it's saved 30.24 megabytes with that one single file. It's reduced the file size by 80%. So if we go ahead and take a look at the EXIF data for both the original file and also the JPEG mini process file, we can see in here, we've got the same dimensions, 11,648 pixels on the long edge. So the actual dimensions of the image have stayed the same. All the EXIF data is intact, as you can see there. But if we look at the file size, the original full resolution JPEG was 38 megabytes. Whereas this JPEG mini process file is now just 7.7 .7 megabytes. So a huge saving in data. If you imagine you export, you know, hundred of these images, that's a real big saving in data. Uh, and actually, if we take a look at the image and we zoom right the way in, you can see that there's no loss in the perceptual quality of this image. They look exactly the same for all intents and purposes. So now let's look at an example where I want to reduce the image dimensions along with the file size. In this scenario, I've got a full album of wedding images exported in full resolution, but I also want to create web resolution images for the couple and their family to share online. In the export settings, I'll set the max width to 2048 pixels. And now I can drag the whole folder of images into JPEG Mini. So it's gonna take a few minutes to work through these, but just look at the amount of disk space that this is saving. This is on one session and we're saving a huge amount of disk space. So really, really amazing what this can do. This means that whether sharing through an online gallery or a file sharing service, or if you're providing copies on a memory stick, those files are gonna be considerably smaller, meaning quicker uploads, less storage space needed. It's gonna save me time and ultimately save me money. Now let's take a look at the plugin. So like me, many of you will be using Lightroom for the bulk of the work that you do. So the plugin is probably gonna be the best, most seamless way to integrate JPEG Mini into your workflow. So once you've added the plugin in Lightroom, you're gonna find it in the export panel. You can then simply insert the plugin into your export settings using the button here. Because I run most of my images through JPEG Mini, I've actually saved the plugin into my export settings, which is gonna speed things up even more. Since you'll set the image dimensions within the export dialog itself, there's actually no settings for the JPEG Mini plugin. It's as simple as setting everything you want in your export dialog, and then it will pass that through to JPEG Mini, which will optimize the files and reduce the file size. 
Like I mentioned before, I've been using JPEG Mini myself for a number of years now, and I genuinely cannot imagine my workflow without it. Based on the amount that I've used the application and the results that I've gotten from it and just how seamless it is to add into my workflow, I think it's a fantastic piece of software. The pricing starts at just $59 for the standalone app and for the full suite, which has got the plugins in there as well, that's $89, which I just think is an amazing price for something that benefits my photography business in the way that it does, that gets used as much as it does. I think $89 is an absolute steal. That's been it for this video. Let me know in the comments whether you already use JPEG Mini or if you plan to integrate it into your workflow now that you've seen this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.